Guess what? Don't start. Let me tell you something. I'm going to hit you in the nuts. Did you hit your head when you were bull riding? Yeehaw! How in the hell do you practice a monster truck? Would you fly with Jack Roush? I learned from the best how to be grumpy. Melka who? I'm going sizzling. What do I got to do? It's a Sunday night. It's a wind tunnel. After I get fired here, I'll need a job. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Miller, that, that's a great question. What is wrong with you? I've been hanging around racetracks all my life. No excuse. <laughs> Elaborate on that. We're in a reflective mood tonight. Tell us about the path that led you to this final episode of a canceled TV show. Well, think about it. I've been watching racing for 50 years. I've been writing about it for 45. For the last 15, I've been on various television shows, even though I've got a face for radio. <laughs> I got to drive midgets in USAC for eight or nine years. I got to be in Indy 500 pit crews. I've, you don't have to tell me about how great my life has been. I understand when you can combine your job and your passion, it's very rare. But uh, other than that, I think the other thing that's really been good about my life, the last 10 years here on Moon Tunnel, because you've given me a forum to help promote promising kids like A.J. Amendinger, Danica Patrick, Kyle Larson, but also give me time to reminisce about my buddy Jim Herdebees, Bentley Warren, and Andy Granatelli. <laughs> now, you know I can't read a teleprompter. We've been over that. But I appreciate you letting me share this desk, telling stories, Pointing out the good, bad, and the ugly of racing. But I really feel bad for the fans of sports cars, midgets, sprints, dragsters, motorcycles, and indie cars because there's no more wind tunnel. It joins Motor Week Illustrated, Speed Week, RPM Tonight, and Speed News in the television graveyard. <laughs> graveyard L, that's the uh, Racing TV Hall of Fame. <laughs> One last thing, I can't imagine you showed up here uh, after this cynical life without some hatred in your heart. Got a lot of hate. I hate the way ABC ruins an IndyCar race. I hate Michael Waltrip's act. The fact that nobody re recognizes Scott Dixon on the street. I hate spotters. I despise the talking heads in NASCAR that scream and rave about a driver that's 15th having a great run. I hate the fact USAC's still a well-kept secret. I hate saving fuel. I hate the fact Phoenix and Elkhart Lake aren't IndyCar schedules. I really hate paddle shifters. I despise, I despise those 10-lap cushions for towing. <laughs> but let's not, let's not leave it on such a down note. It's our last show. There must be something you still love about racing. Well, I love the Chili Bowl. I love having lunch with Koonsman, Poncho, Merle and Gary Bentonhausen, the Big Bopper, Bubby Jones, Steve Chassie, Bill Vukovic. Here and there lies every Friday. I love midgets and dirt, midgets and sprint cars on dirt cars. And most of all, I love calling Dan Gurney and Parnley Jones in the middle of the day on a Tuesday just talking about the old days. <laughs> you know, Miller, I think actually your life turned out okay. Thank you for everything, and happy birthday, Parnelli Jones. 80 years young tomorrow, oldest 500 winner. Thanks, Rufus. <laughs> and with that, I want to bring in a guy I've been fortunate.